You know, J-Lo is still Jenny from the block, and I got a chance to go back to that block with her, which is very, very special, I'll tell you. And this is a woman who loves her community and proves it by giving back whenever she can, whether it's donating her money and time to launch a health care center for kids or bringing down a house like she did last night in her first ever hometown concert. Ain't no country, I love you, puppy. I love you, love you, love you, puppy. Yeah, that's my puppy. Jennifer Lopez, a musical force of nature. Her songs have been the soundtrack of our lives for over a decade. But at her core, she's still. I'm I'm walking on the block with Jenny (laughs) from the block. This feels really nice. It feels super at home for me. I was saying, like, when I drove up here this morning, it took me right back to Sundays in the Bronx. You know what I mean? You see it's a little bit quiet out. The street's kind of empty. I caught up with Jennifer and her sister Linda, who were back in the Bronx to launch the Center for a Healthy Childhood a partnership between the Lopez Family Foundation and Montefiore Medical Center. The goal, to teach families how to live and eat healthier. The Bronx rates dead last in good health outcomes of all the counties in New York State. We started talking to them and asked, uh, you know, what are the issues here? What Mm -hmm. is the biggest problem? And everybody was just like, it's obesity. Now, when you were kids, what kind of foods did you eat? We ate rice and beans and pork chops. I mean, five (laughs) pork Every day? And we had rice and beans every day. And something we, fried. We didn't have a lot of vegetables or salads or greens or fruits or things like that. It was a whole different culture. For the center, we want to do that for children. We want to teach mothers. It's kind of going through the whole family so that everybody gets on board with what you want to do and how you want to keep it healthy. To see you guys work together is, is I love it. Thank I you. enjoy it. Thank you. But who kind of, who kind of run the, who, I mean, you is there a competition well, you gotta here understand that, like, that I was you, always the baby, She's right? a little sister. The, she's well, I was older little sister. I'm little I, brother. I, I tell her things like, you're, li- you're younger, go over there and get me water. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but since we were two. Like, that's like, because we were little. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Another way she's giving back, with a free concert. Her first ever in the Bronx. I'm going to do all my hits. I'm going to do some new stuff. Well, you may be up there for two weeks, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do, you know, I'm just gonna try to give them the best show I can give them. It's funny because this is the week that my first album turns 15 years old. What would you tell yourself now if you knew what you knew now 15 years ago when that first album came out? I would say, you know, follow your instincts, follow your gut, because, you know, I have to say the times when things did go wrong is when I didn't. Yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. Next time, remind me to listen to myself. And sadly for me, she didn't want to really listen when it came to my offer to help her longtime love, Bo Casper Smart, with the concert. Now, there's going to be a lot of dancing, a lot of choreography. Yes, so of is, course. is Bo going to help you help choreograph he always, the show? He always helps out. He's always helped out. If he needs some help. You, you, uh, right. Okay. I love you, puppy. I uh-huh. love you, love you, love you, puppy. Right. <laughs> I saw you. So he's going to help I choreograph. I see you. <laughs> you see me, but you don't I see me. And our cameras were there right before the woman of the hour took the stage. I feel like my life is something that's surreal and out of like a fairy tale. You're inspiring people just Thank by you. everybody here watching. There's probably Thank some little you. girl here now who's going to grow up and say, I saw J-Lo in the Bronx, <laughs> yes. and now she that's was right. my inspiration. I'm a star too. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Jennifer also shared some tidbits about her new album, which drops June 17th. So tune in to GMA that morning for more of my interview with her and J-Lo. If you're watching, my offer to help choreograph, it still stands 